This two at lesson activity is in science and focuses on virtual bodies. Rather than being limited to a two-dimensional static picture, a digital whiteboard system allows you to explore animations, video, and even go into a 3D virtual environment and to control that. I'll be using Notebook, SketchUp, and a CD program called Human 3D. Let's see how these work. We're in Notebook right now, and I have a three-page file here. This is a static two-dimensional picture. It's a diagram of the inner ear, and we can take a look. This is something that students and adults were very familiar with because this is often what's found in books. So we're going to take this a step farther now by going into an animation, which is here on page two. In this animation, this is a flash object that is found in the notebook gallery. If you just look for ear, you will find this. And we have something that has the sound waves that are going in, and you can also tell that something is happening within the inner ear. And this is a side cross cut. And here there's text, which I can scroll through just by clicking on the scroll button. And there's a next button on here. Now when I click next, it will stop this animation and bring up a different animation. And again, it has uh, keywords that are on here. It's a good diagram that I'm able to scroll down to get through the text and then click next and another part of the animation will highlight and so forth until it gets to the end of the animation. Again, scrolling down. And when I click on reset, it'll take me back to the very beginning. So this takes it one step farther because it actually shows how some of those different parts actually move with each other. But we can take this even a step farther to go beyond a two dimension into a three dimensional field. So I can either go into my attachments over here and open, open up Google SketchUp, or I can just go into SketchUp, which I have already downloaded uh, from the warehouse an inner ear. And I can navigate through using the 3D connection mouse that's here. And this allows me to move in multiple directions at the same time. I'll give you an example of what that looks like. So within the ear, this is what we were looking at before. But as I move around, I can go to the front of the ear, or I can start moving to the side, or to the bottom, or as I move around to the back. And I can see straight down the ear canal as we go through. So I can use either one of those. I can also use the standard tools that are up here. For example, I can just rotate around if I want to, and I can zoom in to a particular area or zoom out if I wanted to focus on anything else. So this allows the students a better view of the structure and how they relate to different things within a 3D field. I'm going to move back into Notebook and I'm going to choose the next page here. This next page is uh, what's called Frog Guts. And this is within Notebook. And Frog Guts allows you to do a virtual dissection. Now this takes animation into something that I'm able to control. So there are directions down on the bottom. It says press pin button on the toolbar. So that's what I'll do to get started. And I have some pins which I will pin down to the frog. Now, no frogs were actually harmed in the making of this. And then I want to press the abdomen, and I want to get the scalpel button. There's a variety of tools that come up to the side here. And then I can just cut down, and then cut to the side, and then cut to the side through here. This will take me through a full dissection. And then I'll pin these down. I'll just do one more so I can open this up so we can actually see the frog guts. I will not go through the rest of everything, but it will take you through step by step a full dissection. Now, if you want even more control over that and have more information, you can go to frogguts.com, which is the original creator of it. And there is a lot more that you can go further into, into that virtual world. So this is a, a very good piece of software that you can try also. Going back into Notebook, there is um, another uh, shortcut that I have here. And this will take me to a piece of software called Human 3D. 
And I'm going to make this a little larger so we can see everything that's going on in this piece of software. Now with Human 3D, this is a piece of software that's on a CD-ROM that loads onto your computer that has a wealth of information that you can dig deep into. So if I just wanted to choose, let's say, the central nervous system, I'll just click on that. There are, there's a variety of information that we can read in here. I can click on a picture. I can also click on other diagrams that are in here. And I can always go back into any other section that's in here and find other spots. But th that's good for a good reference, but we want to go into a 3D world. So I'm going to click on the 3D button up here. And um, it will allow me to go into the 3D world. Um, that's the section of an x-ray as you go through. And if I click on, um, I'll close that. If I click on the button, that'll open up uh, the 3D viewer. Now, I'm going to minimize some of these other programs that are in the back. So we just are looking at the anatomical atlas. I'm going to click where the skeletal muscular, muscular system is. And we can go through in here and see the different uh, front and the side and the back. I can click on a video the skeletal muscles form the movable structure of and press stop on that. I'll click back. I can also go into pictures and it will show different types of pictures which I can go into and see what those are. Again, go back. Um, I can go into a virtual 3D realm where I can move this back and forth. I can also zoom in. I can click back on this one. If there's an area of the body that I want to zoom in on, I just click on that and it will take me to that section. I can click on additional pictures and it will take me to more pictures. If I want to see what um, the rectus femoris muscle is, oh, it's right there. Let's take a picture. Let's see that muscle by itself. Well, you can just see what that muscle is, but again, it's a static image. I can click back and go back to the rectus femoris and do a 3D QuickTime picture of that, and I can see um, how thick it is, and I can just rotate this around. And again, click back, and uh, I'll click back again, and we can go into the major text that's right here, and now we can dig deep into any of the um, information that's in here. And again, there's a variety of information on the left in terms of the different systems of the body that are within this um, CD-ROM. So those are some things that you can use in virtual bodies when you're studying science. Now it's time for you to get to it.